Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. An unsung hero is one who does great deeds but receives little to no recognition for them. And that's how I feel about these five handguns. I think they're all very well made, quality built, well functioning handguns, but they just don't get the recognition that I feel they deserve in the gun world. So let's go through them one at a time and you can check them out. Let's start with the Rex Delta imported by the Fime Group. The gun world fell in love with the Rex 01, but the Delta hasn't caught that same amount of steam, but it has with me. I love it. It has 15 round magazines, also comes with a 17 round magazine, ambidextrous controls, additional back strap, a striker fire indicator, and a trigger that I'm measuring right at six and a quarter pounds, but check out that reset right there also has a loaded chamber bar but what i think is super cool is the disassemble just pull that back a little bit and those take down tabs and off comes the slide from the frame it's a very nice handgun all in all a very nice handgun you just put that back on and you're good to go but at the range i fell in love with this gun from the first time i got it it was just so accurate and such a smooth shooter it's two ounces lighter than the glock 19 weighing in at 29 ounces loaded with 15 rounds great ergos to it i love the rex delta and for the life of me i don't know why this is an unsung hero this should be a popular gun in the united states Next is Grand Power's first striker fire handgun called the Q100. It models many of the positive features that the Excalibur has except in a striker fire format. A couple years ago I made a video called the gun world's most unappreciated gun and I spoke about the Q100 and I still feel that way today. Ambidextrous controls with a 4.3 inch barrel that is a rotating barrel, 15 round magazines, a rail, a striker fire indicator and a trigger that I'm measuring right at four pounds four pounds very lightweight trigger a soft shooting gun ergonomically pleasing at the range it performs outstanding I really enjoy it I always have since the day I got it I'm a huge fan of grand power handguns I thought they did a great job with the Q100 they, they later came out with the Q1S but my flavor is right here with the 4.3 inch barrel and I think that it really is an unsung hero. Last year Stoger released this new 9mm handgun called the STR9. You can pick this up for 300 bucks, and I think that's a steal. It embodies many of the same qualities that higher priced handguns have without the high cost. Check this out. 15 round magazines, 3 dot steel sights with adjustable rear sight, 4.1 inch barrel, deep cut serrations in the front and the rear, a pick rail on the dust cover, finger grooves that are not intrusive, and a trigger that I am measuring at six and a quarter pounds. And that's what we're looking at right there. The loaded weight is 33 ounces, and at the range, it performs very nice, you know, exactly as I, I hoped for. Something that would feel like a $500 gun, but without that kind of price tag. The Stoger STR9 is a fine handgun for the money. It's definitely an unsung hero. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Diamondback AM2 does not get the recognition it deserves. It's a subcompact 9mm handgun with a 3.5 inch barrel and an MSRP of $340. People were picking this up for $250. I think that's a steal. 12 round magazine here. They also offer a 17 round magazine. Gritty texturing on the grip has a nice feel to it. Black nitride finish on top of the slide that also scales down into the serrations, front and rear serrations. Witness hole, striker fire indicator, pick rail on the dust cover, and a trigger that I am measuring right around six and three quarters, seven pounds. I think people are three dot sights that are steel. They are Glock compatible. The rear sight is adjustable and Diamondback made this modular. You can see the serial number is internal on the trigger component group and they claim they're going to make additional frames with different colors. You can switch these out. But I think the gun world needs to wisen up to this gun because it's budget priced without lacking the features. Imported by SAR USA, here we have the SAR 9. And if you ever wanted a combination between an HK and a Glock, 
this is the closest you're going to find the SAR 9. The lower unit is very similar to an HK. It has interchangeable grip panels and back straps to custom fit the shooter's hand size, much like HK. And if we look up here, it resembles a Glock very closely and combined this gun just works now it does have a 4.4 inch barrel and comes with two 17 round magazines it does have a pick rail on the dust cover and three dot sights that has an adjustable rear sight very ergonomically nice and the trigger is also nice and i measure it at five and a half pounds and here's what we're looking at with the reset. This model has a thumb safety, other models don't, but the SAR 9 is one fine handgun. Those are my choices of five unsung hero 9mm handguns. Let me know what you think and also let me know what other handguns are out there that you feel are unsung heroes. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.